Okay, I had a, a couple of couple of questions on uh, working with WebAssign, so I thought I'd create a video to help. Uh, let's see if I fill this in. Um, let's see, negative two times negative one, so two plus five is seven. And uh, over here, I put in negative one seven. If we put zero in, that should give me five. So that's zero comma five. Uh, if I put one in here, negative two times one is negative two plus five is three. That's one three. If I put two in here, um, so negative two times two is negative four plus five is one. This is a bad choice. Um, and here, if I plug five halves in, I get zero. Maybe this isn't bad, because I, uh, one of the things I want to show is how to do a fraction. Now, over here, when you click inside this blank, CalcCAD should pop up. And when it does, you can choose this fraction tool right here. And then you do a five, do a down arrow, two, right arrow, comma, zero. The other way you could do that is if you just start typing 5 slash 2, it pops up with a fraction. That's probably the easier way. Okay, now if I um, use resulting solution points, sketch graph of the, the equation. Uh, this second button here is our line tool. Now if you choose that, some of you are choosing this, which is a ray. So when I graph that, it looks, looks like this. Uh, I can clear all here. Uh, some of you are choosing the segment tool. We want the one with the arrow on both ends for the line. And uh, in reality, you can click here and click here to start out with. You might say, well, that's nowhere close to your points. No, it isn't. Uh, if you come over here, the graph layers, if I expand line one, you see the points here. And I could type in negative 1, 7. That's my first point. My second point is 0, 5. Now, if you want to change it to a dash, you wouldn't for these problems. But if you want to change dash, you could do that. But when you're graphing the line, it should actually say line 1. Now, you don't need to have a bunch of points on here. Just two points is all you need. Um, it could be that even if you put these extra points on there, it might give you an error. Um, since all it's wanting is the, the graph. Of course, uh, there's no way for me to check this because I'm in um, preview mode here. If that doesn't work, let me know. Um, but that should be all you have to do for the line. Now, if you want to do a fraction, like this 5 half 0, if you type 5 divided by 2 and then 0, um, you notice that it automatically changes it to the decimal over here, 2.5. Um, so you don't even have to worry about if you're working with a fraction, you can plug that in directly that way. Okay, and that's how you use the how you put a fraction in there and how you use the line tool. Uh, hope your hope your week's going well so far, and um, uh, I'll talk to you later.